The knob will adjust the delivery pressure. Turning the knob clockwise will increase the delivery pressure. Cylinder gauges are normally 3000 or 4000 psi. The maximum delivery pressure is typically in the middle range of the delivery pressure gauge. This is the bonnet which holds the spring. When the regulator hand knob is turned, the spring is compressed. The spring displaces the diaphragm. The diaphragm then pushes on the valve poppet, causing it to move away from the valve seat. The orifice becomes larger in order to provide the pressure and flow required. The bonnet has a vent hole which is a safety feature that protects the bonnet from overpressurization if there's ever a leak past the diaphragm. The bonnet vent hole should never be plugged. Many of our pressure regulators have a sticker over the bonnet vent hole, which will blow off easily should gas need to escape through the bonnet vent hole. The CGA designation number is engraved on the nut. CGA 580 is for inert gases like nitrogen, helium, and argon. A CGA 350 fitting has notches on the nut, which shows that the nut has left-handed threads. CGA 350 is for flammable gases like hydrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. CGA 350 and CGA 580 fittings have bullet-nosed nipples. A CGA 320 fitting for carbon dioxide cylinders has a flat-faced nipple and needs a washer. Many of our regulators have full turn diaphragm valves. Some regulators have a multi-turn needle valve which offers better flow control over a full turn diaphragm valve but does not offer the same level of purity. This outlet fitting is a quarter inch compression fitting for rigid tubing. The CGA fitting is in a high pressure port marked with an H. The outlet valve is in a low pressure port marked with an L. This is a single stage regulator and this is a dual stage regulator. Dual stage regulators are like two regulators in one body and will offer a more stable delivery pressure over the life of a cylinder. The first stage of a dual stage regulator is set for about 300 psi. Most single stage regulators have two 1032 mounting holes in the back, typically spaced 7 eighths of an inch apart.